Hi guys, welcome to yet another episode of Microsoft ERP Beginners Tutorial Series. Today's episode is going to be the continuation of our previous episode. In the previous episode, we did had an introduction to the trade agreements. And in this episode, we will be exploring about the line discounts in Microsoft Dynamics 365. So with that note, let's get started. previous episode we set up the trade agreement that is we set up the prices for the items specific to two different sites and these were the prices that we defined for the item in the previous episode and in this episode we will explore the concept of line discount and we'll try to apply an additional discount on top of this particular price so let's see how we uh, do that in microsoft Dynamics 365 so in order for us to configure the line discount, just like the trade agreement, you need to get into the uh, procurement and sourcing module because we are discussing about the, the purchase discount, not the sales discount. So we need to get into the procurement and sourcing module and expand the setup section and get into the trade agreement journal. We already created a journal for price agreement yesterday so let's create another journal for a discount agreement today so let's actually create one agreement for all the discounts in the system but you can also um, have different ag ag um, agreements for different uh, types of discounts because in Microsoft we have different kinds of dis discounts like line discounts multi-line discounts and total discount so you may create uh, individual or independent uh, journals for every type of discount. For now, I'm only going to create one journal for all the discount. And by default, I'm going to establish a relation of line discount because today's topic is going to be the line discount. So that's going to be my step number one. Once you set that up, then just similar to that of uh, a trade agreement, the next setup is going to be uh, turning on the parameters that is activating the discounts so you need to expand the line discount section and activate all of this parameter for the line discounts to work properly but for now I'm not going to activate it let's see what happens if you do not activate okay so that's the setup number two but we will do the setup later so now let's get into the trade agreement journal and let's try to create a line discount agreement so edit and uh, choose the discount journal that we just created uh, default relation already populated automatically that's your line discount relation click on the line button to add some lines just this just similar to that of a price agreement but just that in the price agreement we define a price for an item and in the line discount agreement we will be uh, defining an additional discount on top of the price um, um, of the item so um, in order for us to define the discounts uh, again similar to the concept of the price you need to choose your uh, vendor and item combination so let me choose the table for this example and choose a vendor I'm going to select my first vendor and again you have a relation so I'm going to choose the uh, the same item that I've chosen previously so now we have an option to uh, define a discount either the amount wise that is you wanted to define uh, how much amount discount you're offering let's say the original price of the item was hundred dollars as we configured yesterday so if you want to offer a discount of ten dollars then you can just specify the amount here or maybe if you want to offer a discount of a percentage basis maybe five percentage then you may need to um, declare the percentage over here so there are two uh, fields for defining the percentage field one field two so we will discuss about what is the difference between a percentage one and a percentage two and what happens if we define percentage in both of them so we will have a detailed review of these two fields in the next episode for this episode we will only concentrate on the discount amount for time being 
So I am providing a discount amount of $10 in this case and the currency is going to be in Indian rupees. So I am not defining any site. You can even define a site specific discounts if you want like just how defined, how we defined the site specific prices yesterday. So I'm, I'm, since we already explored it, I am not going to get in, into the site. So likewise, it's also possible for us to define a discount specific to a certain configuration or color in such cases even the product dimensions need to be uh, product dimension group needs to be enabled and under the product dimension group you may need to also enable the purchase and the sales parameters just like how we uh, enable them for the storage dimension so we already uh, had a discussion on this in the previous episode just if you missed to watch the previous episode please do review the previous episode so uh, that is uh, the setup for the uh, the line discount. It's a very basic line discount setup. You can even define the date range just in case if you, you it is a a promotion period for which you are offering this particular discount. Then you can even main, uh, define the range of this promotion period. That is the start date and the end date. Uh, if, if necessary. In, in, in my case, I'm not going to define any date. So which means that this discount is a permanent discount that I am offering for a specific item for a specific from a specific vendor. Okay. So um, let me now just post this discount. Say okay. Once the uh, journal is posted, obviously it gets out of the uh, non posted area and get um, and enters into the posted area this was our uh, um, our discount agreement so let's now get into a purchase order and quickly add the item to a purchase order and see how it works so the agreement was uh, set up for this particular item um, so quantity one unit price is 100 and the discount should supposed to come over here because it was an amount discount but at this moment the discount doesn't populate why why does it not populate that's because as i mentioned before we did not do or turn on a certain parameters in the in the setup area so let's again go into the uh, into uh, the the section so let's uh, get into the procurement and sourcing module and turn on this parameter so if you do not turn on this parameter that's what happens that is your discount doesn't populate so just turn on it for for time being for the vendor for the vendor group and for all vendor as well and just save it go back uh, remove the item add it again uh, choose the item number and you will see that this is the unit price and that is the discount amount and after the discounted amount and that's going to be your net amount which is $90 okay so this is how you configure a line discount in Microsoft Dynamics 365 this was just a basic introduction to the line discount we will do a little more deep dive into the concept of line discounts in the next two episodes. So in the next episode, we'll discuss about the discount percentage and some of the interesting facts about the discount percentage. And uh, then later on, we will uh, discuss about uh, line discount by varying the quantities. Okay. So thanks for watching this episode. See you again in the next episode with more details about line discount. Thank you.